Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. We give God glory for today. Happy Friday to you. Hallelujah. God is good. His mercies and just forever. In Jesus' name. Amen. This is every word of God for daily living. Let's worship God. Be lifted, O oh Lord. You are King of Kings. Be lifted, O oh Lord. You are Lord of Lords. Be lifted, O oh Lord. You are King of Kings, King of Kings, and Lord of Lords, King of Kings, and Lord of Lords. Jesus, be lifted high, be lifted, O Lord, you are King of Kings, be lifted, O Lord, you are Lord of Lords, be lifted, O Lord, you are King of Kings, King of Kings, and Lord of Lords, King of Kings, and Lord of Lords, your name is Yahweh, your name is Yahweh, you are the miracle working God, your name is Yahweh, Lord you are Yahweh, your name is Yahweh, you are the miracle working God, your name is Yahweh, your name is Yahweh, your name is Jehovah, you are the miracle working God, your name is Yahweh, your name is Yahweh, you are Yahweh, you are the miracle working God, your name is Yahweh, your name is Alpha, you are Omega, you are ageless, you are changeless, Almighty Jehovah, you are glorious God, I bow before your throne, your name is Alpha, you are Omega, you are ageless, you are changeless, Almighty, Almighty, Jehovah, Jehovah, you are glorious God, I bow before your throne, I bow before your throne, I worship at your feet, I bow before your throne, you are glorious God, I bow before for your throne, I worship at your feet, I bow before your throne, you are a glorious God, your name is Yahweh, your name is Yahweh, you are the miracle working God, your name is Yahweh, Yahweh Lord we bless Bless you, we give you glory, honor, adoration, mighty God, King of glory, Lord of love. Blessed be your holy name. You are mighty, you are awesome, you are wonderful. Great is the Lord in all the earth. Oh Lord, we worship you. Be exalted and magnify and praise, Father, in the name of Jesus. Thank you for your loving kindness. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your faithfulness. We adore you, Lord. Not like unto you in all the earth. Blessed be your name in the name of Jesus. Father, as we're about to hear your word. Father, teach us your word. Open up the 
hearts and the minds of the people, oh God, and interpret your word, oh God, into the hearts, oh God, that all men will come to you, all men will come to seek your holiness and know your righteousness and know you for who you are in the name of Jesus. Let your work come with power to heal, to deliver, to self free in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for what you're about to do. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Our topic today is Horema is my grace, mercy, and love for man. Part one. This is by Pastor Porika, the International Director of the Holiness Ever Movement Worldwide Short from Horema. Happy July to you. Happy first of the month, new month, glorious month, and we give God all the glory for it shall be glorious all throughout this month in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Our text is from the book of Revelation, chapter 2, verse 1 to 7. Verse 1. Unto the angel of the church of Ephesus write this thing, saith he, that holdeth the seven stars in his right hand, who walketh in the midst of the seven golden candlesticks. I know thy works and thy labor and thy patience and how thou canst not bear them which are evil and thou hast tried them which say they are apostles and are not and hast found them liars and hast borne and hast patience and for my name's sake has labored and has not fainted. Amen. Nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee because thou hast left thy first love. Remember, therefore, from whence thou hast fallen, and repent and do the first works, and or else I will come unto thee quickly and will remove thy candlestick out of his place, except thou repent. But this thou hast, that thou hatest the deeds of the Nicolaitans, which I also hate. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit said unto the churches. To him that overcometh, will I give to it of the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of God. God. Amen. Hallelujah. God help us to overcome and stand well in his holiness and righteousness that we may eat this fruit of life that we will be in paradise in heaven forever in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. A key best thing for the book of Revelation chapter 1 verse 2. Who bear record of the word of God and of the testimony of Jesus Christ and of all things that he saw? I take our reading. As Sister Josephine in Hegerica of USA Chatter was praying on October 30th, 2019, God spoke to her about holiness revival movement. He said, Horemo is my own ministry and it is my last grace mercy and love for the whole world hallelujah horema means holiness revival movement worldwide hallelujah in short form is horema send this message to everyone no matter how great or small pastors or and churches i raise horema to teach my children and the whole world my standard and holiness and righteousness the church must live and teach the truth the true gospel that will take them to heaven i have revealed the plans of the devil concerning my church i raise my movement for those who want to make heaven for my sheep hear my voice hallelujah the sheep of god hear his voice and the what they follow him so if you are a sheep of god you will hear his voice and follow him amen and you will know that horemon is the place where god has prepared in this time to teach us his truth his mercy, his love for a sure. Amen. The Lord said, Whosoever in Horemo accept the teachings and obey them with all their heart and teaches the same to others will live the will live and be saved like those we, that were in Noah's ark. 
I will cover them with my glory. And when I come, I will rapture them and take them to my kingdom. All oh, my will and plans concerning my ministry, Horemon, will surely come to pass and nothing will stop it. Hallelujah. I have left many of my churches. I am no longer with them because they have left my standard and holiness and righteousness and gone back to their own way and gone back to the world. They have brought the spirit of the world into the church. Their hearts are full of pride, arrogance, and every worldly desire. The Lord lamented, they are far from my holiness, from my righteousness, from my sanctification. Many churches don't even know about sanctification. They don't know what it means. I didn't know what it means in other churches when I was in those churches. I didn't know the meaning of sanctification. The standard of heaven, they have missed it. They are far from it. They are now after worldliness and money and fame and glory of this world that shall melt away and shall pass away. They are far from the truth. They are far from my holiness, righteousness, and sanctification and standard of heaven, for heaven. Any church I see women wearing trousers, pants, makeup, artificial hair, jewelry, ornaments, artificial nails, artificial eyelashes, earrings, and clothing that are not feeding clothes that are not feeding tight fitted clothes for my children and kingdom they are on their way to hell they are on their own way not on the way to god not on the way to heaven i am not in their midst all their songs shouting activities are in vain if they do not repent and accept my own standard of holiness and righteousness that I have revealed and teach them in their churches what will happen. If they do not repent and accept my own standard of holiness and righteousness that I have revealed and teach them in their churches, they will not make it when I come. They will not go to heaven. They will go to hellfire. They will not see the face of the Lord. Sister Linda told us how she used to go to churches where they wear these artificial things. And she was a choir member singing in the, in the church. She went to her pastor and she told her pastor, Oh, my younger sister, she's persuading me to drop these things that they are not of God. And her pastor told her, Come on, dress your, you dress yourself. The Bible said we should dress the temple. You are the temple of God. So dress yourself. Even with naked things, worldly things, I, uh, uh, things of, of, of idols, put them on your body. Artificial, those things that are not of God, telling God that he did not make you well. He would have made your lips pink instead of making it brown. He would have made your lips red instead of making it uh, the way he did. He would have made your hair long like the Indian hair. Not like mine. Telling God he did not know how to make well. That's what the pastor told her. Don't you see my wife? My wife is, 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 is dressing just like my wife. Like the people of the world. These are men that want to take you to hell. They are on their way. And they are making sure they are drawing a lot. Don't be foolish to hold on to their hands. Don't be foolish to hold on to their garment. Don't be foolish to hold on to them. Because they are on their way to hellfire. If you keep holding on. To what they are teaching you. The errors they are teaching you. I'm sorry. You will end where they end. Some people even if their pastor is sinning. They will still say this is my pastor. Yes we will follow our pastor. Our papa. He is going to hell. You want to follow him. Is that wise? Don't be foolish. May the eyes of your understanding be enlightened. May your eyes be open. This 
things we are saying here in Horemon. What is Horemon? Ho, holiness. Re, reviver. Movement, M. Worldwide. That's the W. Movement, M, O, and then the worldwide. W. That is it. Holiness, reviver, movement. We are moving to heaven. We are moving holiness to the world. The truth of God. The righteousness of God. Showing it to the world. Not just by our dressing, but by our attitude. By our worship. By our love for God. Come and join us in this worship of our maker. And your life will not be the same. Yes, you will end well. You will end well as you listen to the teachings from the Bible. Coming straight from God. Preached by Pastor Parika. As you are listening, jotting them down and obeying them, you will definitely make heaven. Hallelujah. Our thought for the day says, Horemon is God's grace and mercy and love for man. Oh yes it is. Because if I had died with my mini skirt and my open dress, fake hair, make top face, and my heels, oh, if I had died like that, I would have gone to hell. But praise God, I am still alive. And God kept me and touched my mind and my heart to understand his words. I give God all the glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just begin to worship the Lord. If you have thrown away this worldly thing and you have seen the goodness of God in Horemor, the love of God in Horemor, just take this time and worship God. Say thank you, Jesus, for all your teachings that you have been teaching me of the right standard of God, of the truth of God, of how to be sanctified, to live a sanctified life, for to be perfect, it is possible. Oh, many people say it is not possible to be perfect. If it was not God wouldn't have required it from Abraham. He said, Walk before me perfect. Oh Lord, it is for you. Say, Be ye holy, for I am holy. Lord, I thank you, Father, for every day we are shining brighter and brighter to the coming of the Lord. Oh Jesus, thank you for making us holy. Thank you for making us righteous. Thank you, Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. If you have not yet come to this fold, if you have not yet come to the holiness of God, say, Lord, I need grace. Oh Lord, help me. Oh Lord, I surrender oh lord have mercy on me oh lord i see it now i surrender they stand i throw them away i receive the power not to go back i surrender to you jesus help me lord help me lord help me lord help me lord begin to cry for yourself for if you pray for the grace of god it is abundant already for you oh lord i pray for grace oh god for as many that want to come to your holiness that want to trust Throw away this word little. Oh, just because of friends around, family, maybe husband, oh, children, even parents. Oh, disturb it. Don't throw away your trousers or else I will divorce you. Oh, don't throw away your ring or else I will divorce you. It is not the ring that keeps the marriage. It is your trust in God. It is the God in the man that keeps him from, div- from, 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 from fornicating, from coming, committing adultery. It is the fear of God in your wife that will make her not to go and sleep with another man. Oh, Lord Jesus, I pray that your fear be restored in the heart of all men that men will seek you and not seek their own that men will seek you and not seek the things of this world that men will seek you and run away from sin oh lord i pray in the name of jesus hallelujah father we thank you for you have spoken again to us glory be to your holy name we worship you we receive this grace of God this mercies of God and this love of God and I pray for the whole world to come to this light to come and accept your love your grace and your mercy I pray father in Jesus name I pray amen hallelujah glory be to God hallelujah we give God all the glory have a blessed day a wonderful day the Lord keep your uncle's face to shine upon you in Jesus name amen